the bearings and trigonometry. A lot of trigonometry questions will be navigation, so you travel a certain distance north and then east, and we will want to know things like the distance from our starting point. To do this we need to understand bearings. Bearings can be given in a variety of different ways. For example, you could say that you travelled due east, which is 90 degrees clockwise of north. Um, one way of giving bearings is what's called a true bearing, which is just whatever the angle is clockwise around from north. So east would be 90 degrees T, that means true. South would be 180 degrees true. So in a lot of situations we'll have what we call a compass rose, our little north, east, south, west um, diagram. Angles will be marked and we'll ask to be asked to given, we will be asked to give a particular bearing as a true bearing. So the bearing, if you're standing here, to get to A is the angle around clockwise from north, that is 90, take away 35, so the bearing of A is 55 degrees T for true. To get to B from north clockwise all the way around, this is, we've got as far as east, which is 90, and another 45, so this will be 135 degrees true. C, my angle is all the way around to there from north, so that's either 270 plus 70 or 360 minus 20. 360 minus 20 is easier, so that's 340 degrees true. So we might be asked to give someone's bearing as a true bearing, for example. Okay. Navigation questions. For example, a ship travels due south for 5 kilometres, then on a bearing of 120 degrees true for 11 kilometres. A. Find how far east the ship is from its starting point. Anytime you get these questions, you must draw a diagram and you must start with a compass rose. It can be a very, very, very simple one like this, where north is marked, and your starting point is at the centre of your compass rows. You then draw the diagram showing what happened. So they travelled due south for five kilometres. We'll get to there and that's five kilometres. Then on a bearing of 120 degrees true for 11 kilometres. Now if you change bearing, chances are you'll draw another little compass rose because from here they went at 120 degrees true for 11 kilometers and sorry this is the situation that we've got this is 120 degrees. Now so far there's no right angle triangle in this. You have to make one and that comes from the question. We want to find out how far east and south it is from its starting point. We know that it went 5 k's south from its starting point. How far south it went we get by extending the south direction like that. When we say how far east it is from its starting point, we mean directly east. That is, how far towards east do I have to go to get to where the ship is now? So you can see that this distance here, x, is the displacement east how far east the ship is. 
how far south the ship is from its starting point does start with this five kilometers. They started here, they went five kilometers south, and then it's just how much further directly south are they displaced. So this distance here, the ship is going this way shore, but they're moving southwards, and we want how far south they went. So this distance here, added to that five, will give us how far south it is. So we work those out. You'll need to get an angle inside your right angle triangle. So this is obviously 60 degrees. We could have chosen this one over here. There's usually two options for a triangle when we do this. So A, I would then redraw your triangle. It is not a good idea to try to rely on your navigation diagram. Sorry, that's 11 there. That's a little bit unclear. 11, and I've got 60 degrees. So your steps are label your sides, hypotenuse, opposite. Choose your ratio. Sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. Substitute your values. Rearrange. And use your calculator in degrees mode. to evaluate, and we were traveling in kilometers, I should have put kilometers on my diagram. Because it's a word question, you give a word answer, which would be, therefore, the ship is 9.5 kilometers east of its starting point. Question B, I would again redraw the triangle, it's safest. This time we're getting Y. Label your sides, adjacent and hypotenuse. Choose your ratio, which is cos. Um, incidentally, the other thing you could have done here was Pythagoras because we did just find this value here and that would be quicker perhaps because we already knew two sides of this triangle but you can also use trig. 11 times cos 60. Now this is not the answer to question B, because question B wants to know how far south it is from its starting point, and it did go five kilometers south to start with, so the answer would be that the ship is 10.5 kilometers south from its starting point, and for both of these we would write a word answer. You can at times also be asked to find what bearing a ship sailed on or a walker hiked along, and in that case, of course, you still draw your diagram, you still put in the values that you are told, and you would solve for an unknown angle and represent it as a true bearing.